Welcome everybody, serious people, on such a wonderful, sunny, gorgeous day. Um, I'm Dr. Christine Willey. I'm from Sound Naturopathic Clinic, along with Dr. Ruth Urand. A little preview. We'll give you an overview of what naturopathic medicine is, just so that you have some framework. And then we'll talk about how we can best guide you to achieve your wellness goals and to help complete that fourth part of the circle that Tom talked about today in his sermon. So I graduated from Bastyr University in June and I've been with Dr. Ruth at Sound Naturopathic Clinic since October. Um, studied naturopathic medicine and she's been doing naturopathic medicine for 12, 14 years. 14 years now. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I was going to say 12. So mm -hmm. <laughs> This is to remind us to breathe. Before we get started, I invite you to ground down. So connecting down to the ground through your feet and take a deep inhalation. So you can even close your eyes if you wish. Um, oh, this is my joke about a drug-free America. So at eight, you're on amoxicillin, and then Ritalin, uh, suppressants, no-dose, Prozac, Zantac, and 65 plus, it's everything else. That's just a joke. But really, naturopathic medicine is a system of medicine very similar to conventional medicine where we've been trained at a four-year medical school in all of the basic sciences, diagnostic, imaging. We know how to refer or prescribe pharmaceutical drugs. However, we mostly focus on um, finding the cause, treating the cause. We will go for botanical medicine or herbal medicine, diet, lifestyle, nutrition before drugs and surgery. So basically it's our goal to not go there and look at everything else first before we go to um, higher intervention, intervention. So the philosophy in naturopathic medicine the healing power of nature, we believe that there's an innate healing ability in each person, just like in nature, nature regenerates and it heals, and everybody has that power. As a doctor, we have to recognize that and support you on your own healing journey, and just taking away some things such as bad habits and adding in some support like nutrition or supplements, vitamins. That's the healing power of nature. Do no harm, so it's our goal to have least invasive um, treatment options first. Treat the whole person. That's really um, our focus is to look at you as an individual, mind, body, spirit. And just like today's sermon, there's the parts that all four parts make you complete and whole. And it's looking at the inner body. It's looking at your world view your health, nutrition, that's, that's the whole picture. Um, doctor is teacher, we like to talk and <laughs> teach and educate, so that's part of what this is, educating a group about what naturopathic medicine is, what health is. Prevention, um, yeah, it's basically, if you're already healthy, that's a perfect time to see a naturopath, because we can help keep you that way and identify and treat the cause. We're always looking for what's the underlying cause. Okay, what is this? <laughs> I don't know, I guess. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Okay. Oh, I, th I like that one. Oh, so, how can you treat the whole if you only see a part? That's just my example of naturopathic medicine. When people ask, do we specialize? Well, we specialize in the whole person, the whole person, individual. You, you would never know that that was that part. So why look at a part, treat a part, when you don't want to look at the whole? Uh, so we practice family medicine. Just a quick overview of what you may want to uh, seek out a naturopath for. Regular well visits annual exams, preventative care, diet lifestyle, um, the acute colds, flus, and then there's a list of some of the common complaints that we'll see. It's from everything from allergies to asthma to chronic health conditions and diabetes. So 
anything you might see a regular primary care physician for is what you would seek out a naturopath for. And some of the services we offer, we can do regular health checks, labs. Um, we also specialize in colonics, allergy elimination, homeopathy, botanical medicine, and some physical medicine modalities as well. So there's a brief list of everything that we have to offer when you're looking to treat and treat the whole person. Here's another little example for you. If the window was closed and this room became completely dark, how could you light up the room again? I will take suggestions. <laughs> Open the window, turn on the light. Good suggestions, I like those. Light a candle. Okay, so thinking of this as health, Thinking of the light as health and the darkness as disease. No one said remove the darkness. You can't, you can't just remove it, you can't take it away, but you can bring light in. And that's how we look at health. That we look at the person... I, trick question? It was not a trick question. <laughs> no, that was very serious. <laughs> so. We look at a person and we look how we can boost health and bring health in and therefore illness and disease will go away. So we turn on the light, we bring health in. Okay. And that was pretty much my overview of naturopathic medicine. We will leave some question, time for questions at the end. And so now I hand the clicker over to Dr. Ruth Urand and she will talk about nutrition. I hear this question every day, what should, what should I be eating? And um, my first response to most people is uh, to keep your food whole. Keep it as, uh, so you can identify it like a whole apple instead of an apple pie. <laughs> or uh, it's, um, you know, if you ate only vegetables, you could get uh, most of what you need. Uh, if you take the potato, for example, uh, it has um, everything that you need to live um, in it, as if you eat the skin as well. You have to eat the whole potato. And not french fries, please. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, yeah, we put a little basket of uh, junk food there in the corner. That's not, that's not what to eat. And I'm not saying that you need to be a vegetarian to eat in a healthy way, um, but keeping your food whole and keeping your animal food uh, organic is so important these days because they put so much into the animals. They, um, they want to make more meat. They want the, the, the cows to be bigger, so they load them up with hormones. They, um, they want to make sure they're healthy, so they're injecting them with um, antibiotics. And you don't need that in your life. Um, so getting good grass-fed beef or um, uh, chickens that are free range and fed in a in a very um, whole way, which is important. So inflammation was a very big part of the book, and um, he kind of wanted me to go over uh, an explanation in the the book that um, it, it's a little bit technical, and it is it is um, you have to understand a little bit of biochemistry to um, to get it. But basically, in the book, he talks about two substances. They're called cytokines, and one is number six, and one is number ten, and they're actually interleukins. So. Uh, the cytokines, the number six, creates inflammation in your body. So, um, and inflammation is the start of any uh, health problem. So, to, um, and what, what they talk about in, in the book is that if you exercise, it reduces the C6 by releasing C10. And um, so when you exercise, the C10 builds up in your body, kind of neutralizing the cytokine 6. So 
uh, don't get too involved in, in that in the book. It just is an explanation about how to reduce inflammation. And inflammation um, is, is um, a, a term that in medicine we use it because it's, it is the start of every disease and, or almost every disease. And uh, when you see it, you know it on, let's say on a skin lesion, it's red. It's, um, in, it's, and you talk about it being inflamed, um, and it could be some swelling there, and there's pain. So uh, that's when you uh, are most aware of it, and maybe you feel it in your joints, or you know the joint can swell up and be painful. So um, that's why it's important. So there are um, mediators, and mediators, uh, you're either anti-inflammatory or pro-inflammatory. So you're either, uh, there's that vegetable and fruit picture again, um, and these are the things that um, promote or um, they, you have to have really a balance of um, um, anti-inflammatory uh, foods in your diet, and, and, and mostly anti-inflammatories are foods. Even the, the uh, natural supplements, like for example, turmeric is a, um, is a herb that's very anti-inflammatory. So uh, things that are pro-inflammatory, uh, wheat and corn, I'll, you know, you can read through that, but refined sugars is, is a big one uh, because they're so addictive, and um, when, when people get into the whole uh, sugar addiction, they cannot go through a day without having something with refined sugar in it. And that was something that uh, Tom uh, touched on in, um, in his sermon this morning about, um, about that addiction. And it's, um, and it's just, and I think we all know, I know what that feels like, um, you know, wanting to have something sweet after dinner or any time in your day. Um, so then your, uh, your body has this wonderful system of uh, detoxification. Uh, you want to make sure your digestive system, the GI, is healthy and, uh, and through the liver, uh, lungs, lymph, skin, kidneys, they're all um, detoxification organs. So. And you do that via eating well. That's the very first thing that you can do for yourself and exercising. So um, I just wanted to touch a little bit on the importance of essential fatty acids. And um, essential fatty acids are essential because the body can't make them and you have to get them from food. So. Um, they, you, you've heard of omega-3, omega-6, omega-9 fatty acids. Well, you get a, quite a bit, if you're eating a lot of vegetables, you get a lot of omega-6 fatty acids. And omega-9s are the um, olive oil and um, nuts. Not peanuts, but um, other nuts. And the reason why they're important is because they make up every single cell in your body. If you look at the, the foundation of the cell, it um, is made up of fat. They call it a bilipid layer. There's two um, layers of fat. So, um, and each one of these has a different role. And the and they're also anti-inflammatory. So the kinds of uh, foods are your seeds and um, the um, marine lipids are the uh, the fish oils. So you've heard of the EPAs, which are the the, the fish oils, and they're um, they're important uh, because. Um, They've been taken out of our food by our food industry because uh, they go rancid really fast. You know that if you have a piece of fish on the counter, you can't leave it there very long because it, it will start to um, decay really fast. And that's the, because of the omega-3 fatty acids in it. And if you have um, good wheat, like um, if you have homemade bread that you've made from whole wheat, um, 
that it doesn't last very long because the omega-3 fatty acids are still in it. So, so be kind of aware of that if you do eat wheat, and um, we're not recommending that you don't eat wheat, but wheat has become a very big problem in, um, in people's diets. And mainly, one of the things that people are not aware of is that they've um, added four times more gluten to the wheat to bread in the last 10 years. <laughs> um, so, here we go. <laughs> um, so I wanted to tie the Younger Next Year book into the, the talk today because um, and a big part of the book is what um, they term as Harry's Rules. And Harry is the medical doctor. There's, uh, as Tom mentioned, there's two authors to this book. And it's um, uh, this um, Chris, I think his name is, and his medical doctor's name is Harry. So uh, the very first rule is to, <laughs> to exercise six days a week. And you're saying, oh my gosh. <laughs> so um, I tied that into the naturopathic uh, guiding principle of really the healing power of nature because when you you're you're treating the whole body when you're exercising and um, that healing power of nature um, that Dr. Willie um, uh, summarized is uh, very important because your body wants to be well and everything that you do that's that's pro body um, is going to move you in that direction of wellness and um, we have a living example right here <laughs> Uh, the next one is, of those six days a week that you exercise, four of the days uh, should be aerobic. So, um, with a bottle of champagne, no. <laughs> so, the next one is, um, do strength training with weights two days a week for the rest of your life. And these are things, people always ask me, how long do I have to do this? The rest of your life. <laughs> and <laughs> um, so the next one is talking about uh, finances, spending less than you make. It's kind of, um, I guess it's finding and treating the cause. <laughs> um, and I kind of hesitated putting this one up, but quit eating crap. And you know, that is kind of the nature of this book. He makes it lighthearted and, and, um, and you know, really keeping your full food to whole food is, uh, you can never go wrong um, if you head down that road. That road. And um, really passing by those fast food places, they're trying to get more healthy food in there. But you know, the bottom line is the bottom line. <laughs> <laughs> they that's what they're they sell the most French fries and burgers, so that's what they're going to sell. Um, and then care, and once you have taken charge of your body, you take charge of your life. You've given yourself a great set of wheels. Now go out on the road, and uh, and that really is the the healing power of nature. And it's not just caring for other people, but it's caring for yourself. Have the, um, the self-respect to take care of your body and that's what the whole program is about and and I really uh, was really taken that um, that once I I didn't finish reading the whole book but I skimmed over a lot because he talks a lot about what his exercise is and how he got better and you know doing extreme downhill skiing and and he does put a lot of little jokes in there that maybe I didn't appreciate but <laughs> um, but uh, but the whole premise of the book is naturopathic it's um, it, it does cover uh, all of our principles and um, so <laughs> uh, the last one was connect and commit, um, rededicating yourself to family, friends, companions, and that's what you're doing here. Um, get involved in groups, do communal things, whether work or play, work for the greater good, and approach every day with gratitude. I think I threw that in. Um, because when you have gratitude for in your life, um, really miracles happen <laughs> and um, so just being thankful for all the little things because all the little things add up to a lot. 
Uh, so this is the breathe slide. Remember, we're breathing. <laughs> Um, and just a word about a few of the modalities that, that we use in our clinic. And uh, I've been doing allergy elimination technique um, for almost, uh, boy, it must be 10 years now, and uh, with phenomenal results. And, um, and you've probably told that you have an allergy, and here, take Claritin, and that will uh, fix you today. But you're taking Claritin again tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. So. Uh, and I know some of you have already had some of the um, allergy elimination technique um, treatments, and uh, it's an acupressure technique, so it's not anything that's way out there or strange, or but uh, it's a Chinese um, medicine theory of meridian and the flow of energy through the meridians. I mean, they've been doing it for 4,000 years, and uh, they kind of know uh, what works. And this um, really works to eliminate allergies. And, you know, allergy we define as anything that um, blocks energy and uh, blocks that energy in the meridian. And that's what acupuncture is based on, unblocking that energy. And when you do acupressure, it unblocks that energy. So, um, the, oh, this is from Dr. Nimbudapad's, um website and uh, she quotes Edison of this, this kind of a famous quote of the doctor of the future will give no medicine but will interest uh, his or hers <laughs> patients in the care of the human frame and diet and the cause and prevention of disease. This is the premise of uh, naturopathic medicine. Uh, then I'm going to hand over to, did you want to talk about best? Yep, okay. Um, this is a technique that Dr. Willie um, does and she explains it best, so I'm going to give it to her. So we're going over just a few modalities that we use as naturopaths that could better assist you in your achieving your health goals. So if that's weight loss or getting in shape or just being um, healthy and feeling healthy, then these are some of the things that you may try if you see a naturopathic physician. So BEST is bioenergetic synchronization technique, and it's a technique that treats the nervous system. The nervous system basically controls or helps control stress. So you have two parts, parasympathetic and sympathetic. Um, sympathetic is fight or flight, so you may have experienced this if you were running from a bear or driving in rush hour traffic. <laughs> Most people don't need to be in the sympathetic because at most time there is no immediate threat to survival and that's what the sympathetic is good for. Parasympathetic is good for resting and digesting and what you really want is a blend between those two parts of the nervous system. People tend to get stuck in sympathetic so they're running from a bear when really they're just sitting at their desk at work, getting all worked up and all stressed out, and they are focusing on survival. Their body is geared up to just survive. When you're doing that, you cannot heal because the body is not designed to heal and regenerate and just survive at the same time. They're separate things. So what this does is help get your nervous system balanced so that you could go parasympathetic when you need to rest and digest. You can go sympathetic when you need to, but most of the time you're in a healing state. And it's a, it's a physical treatment where you're on a massage table and I use some muscle testing to go through and have your body guide me if it's a physical, mental, emotional complaint. And the reason why this would be beneficial is that if you're all stressed out, you can't get a whole lot of healing accomplished anyway. So you can work with um, other modalities like the allergy elimination or diet lifestyle or nutrition and exercise and then also come in and get balanced. That's what we call it. And um, that will help you on your journey towards health. Oh, the essentials. I promised that I would leave you with the essentials. And this kind of sums up Harry's rules, 
and it sums up what we do in naturopathic medicine. And first of all, breathe. I think we established that. And it's not just it's not just breathing, and most people get stressed out and they're breathing up here in their chest, and it's not deep, and it's not healing. But really, take the time to do the belly breath or any kind of breath work that you've maybe been trained throughout the, um, your years. Diaphragmatic breathing, where you're really getting good deep breaths, because that massages all of your internal organs as well and helps to get blood circulating. And so breathe, most of all. Drink water. And, and it, it's important what kind of water you're drinking. So is it pure water, filtered water? Is it chlorinated water? So think, just drink pure, filtered, clean water. Daily movement for the rest of your life, I guess. So daily movement that can be starting up slow. So you're walking slowly, you're building up to something of a more of a routine. But just get out and move daily. And then you could work up to the um, aerobic four times a week and or four times a day or four times a week. Yes. <laughs> You just do whatever, just move, just go out there and walk and move. And nutrition, we covered nutrition. What I want to say about um, don't eat crap is that oftentimes we have no idea what is healthy, what is not healthy. You do sometimes need the guidance of a professional who can say, fruits and vegetables, this is why, and this nutrition bar it says it's healthy on the label, and it says all of these things, but do you really know what half of the ingredients are? If you don't know what they are, then chances are it's not as healthy as they're saying it is, just because they're trying to sell you something, it's a quick, easy fix. But we can help you in those, guide you with like reading labels and really starting to um, take an active part in determining if something's healthy versus not healthy. Yes, sleep. Just get good, solid sleep. Seven to eight hours a night, depending. Each individual is different. But that is your time for healing and regenerating. And, and if your sleep isn't optimal, perhaps you could seek the um, guidance of a professional, and we can help you get that better sleep. And lastly, your thoughts have a big impact on your health. This is something that people don't think of instantly when they think health, that everything that you're thinking every second of the day and your internal dialogue that's running, sometimes uncontrollably, is either positive or negative, and it's either benefiting your life and everything that you do, or it's actually um, negatively influencing your life. So thoughts in my mind, are just as important as the clean air that you're breathing or the water that you're drinking. Um, it's just something that you also have to learn to uh, refine and so that you have a perfectly positive influence just by what you're thinking. And um, I think I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> So can you hang out in case...